Hello everyone! You all have been probably offered the project in which you need to rig and animate a character, but because you think the rig and animating a character is very hard and you are not able to do it, you reject the offer and you don't even go for it. Or maybe many times you wanted to solve this problem and once for all, learn how to rig all character parts and expressions which are needed in this context and make yourself needless in this field. But the big problem is that most tutorials rig and animate the character from one pose. But most of the projects we get offered are not like that and the character should be animated and rigged from different poses. So for doing this kind of project, first you should be a good designer so you can design the character from different poses. And also you should be familiar with character designing principles and preparing them for rig so your character won't have any problem while animating. And secondly, you should know a lot of information about rigging. But all of the motion designers that don't have all these skills together, especially when they are beginners and they are kind of amateur. The first goal of this course is that you can download the character you like from Freepik or any other website with the least information about designing a character. Improve it poses completely for a professional rig so you won't have any problem while animating it. In the continue, you learn how to rig your character fast and simple by doing a scrap and control all poses of your character just by one skeleton and don't need to rig and skeletonize for different poses again. You learn how to control poses of your character by a slider, how to create different states for your character hand, how to create mouse states and control them by a slider and be able to create lip sync animation. How to rig the eyes and eyebrows. In the next chapter, we explain another popular way of rigging so you can control your character's parts by the controllers in the scene and show off your rigging abilities. And eventually, you learn how to put the characters you rig in different scenes and resize it without your rig having a problem so at the end you can easily animate your character from different poses and enjoy the rig you have done.